Hello, my beautiful fragrance family. Dustin here, fragrance fan. Before we get started, go ahead and do me a solid and click that like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know every time I upload some new content. And for those of you who already support my channel, thank you guys so much for helping me with what I do because I just want to keep on giving you guys these budget friendly fragrance reviews, that 40 ish and under dollar range. 100 milliliter bottles. Most of these are going to be way less than that, and a good number of these you can pick up at your local rack stores. And this week, I've been in a Latafa theme. I'm not going to break that cycle right now because I'm doing a 2021 release of that house. It is an amber fruity fragrance, and I'm talking about a jazzy, intensive silver fingerprint magnet. <laughs> hefty bottle. These are hefty bottles. The cap itself is even metal. And, uh, could probably be used as a weapon. A little engraving on the top, and this is not a sticker as the other ones. It is part of the bottle itself. Eau de Parfum concentration, and the atomizer is about average. So I'm gonna go over the notes with you guys and let you know what I think about this fragrance overall, occasions to wear it, who it's good for, whether it's good or bad. And uh, so in the top, there is mandarin orange and grapefruit. In the mid, there is cedar, and C notes, and in the base there is amber and moss. This is a very well-rounded fragrance. For having such a minimal note breakdown, it does offer a bit of body to this thing. You do get a hefty dose of that citrus up top. The, the mandarin is quite prominent, and, uh, and so is the grapefruit, kind of gives it a little bit of bitterness. And I think that the moss with that earthy dustiness coming alongside some of those, uh, the top notes with the citrus and the, the fresh C notes kind of give it a dusty, minty type of a feel in the heart of this thing. The top notes kind of hang on for a little bit, probably about 30 or 45 minutes, and then you're just left with the aquatic woody type of a, of a feel going on. There's a little bit of spice. This stays fresh throughout the longevity of it. It is almost a year-round fragrance. I don't think it's quite uh, heavy enough for the cool weather. I mean, you could probably get away with it, but this is mostly an office-friendly, uh, warmer weather, even in the fall a little bit, but it's mostly a warmer weather type of fragrance. I think it is classy enough that it could be dressed up just a little bit. It's not more youthful than it is mature. I think any age group could enjoy wearing this. It's under $20. Uh, I will... I'll, leave a, I'll start leaving links in the description. I'll try to do that uh, as much as I can. And um, overall rating, I'll give it a six and a half. I'll explain why. A lot of people say they get great performance out of this. I'm on that side of the spectrum where I just don't get great performance on a lot of different fragrances, and this one is one of them. Unfortunately, I don't get that great of performance. I've worn it quite a bit with my scent of the day today super hot and it was not cloying. I was sweating my butt off and this was not cloying whatsoever. So kudos for that. I love a fragrance that works well in the high heat, but I just didn't get the best performance. By the time lunch came around, I could barely smell this thing. So it's like a, I took a later lunch, but it's like a four and a half or a five hour fragrance on my skin. Most people get like six and a half or seven hours. So if I did, then my personal rating would easily be a seven, but because it is not, I still give it a six and a half because it is that enjoyable. Everybody I've showed this to likes the way that it smells. There's just something about that fresh citrus, somewhat of a dusty aquatic minty thing somewhere in there that just makes this alluring. It's kind of captivating. It makes you almost want to smell it again. So. You bet I did refresh with this thing, especially when work was done. I sprayed myself again. Uh, I really enjoy it. Uh, this Latafa line just continues to impress me. I haven't really smoked one yet that I do not like, and that's not common in a whole house. I mean, Latafa has a bunch of fragrances. I'm gonna keep on going over some more, but that is my final thoughts on this particular Latafa. Latafa, a jazzy, intensive silver. With that, I'm out. Y'all be blessed. Take care of yourself always. And until next time.